Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for the newcomers. My name is Diddy. In today's video, I'm going to look at the Bitcoin price because there is some cool action on the charts that I need to share, and there is three amazing charts you need to see. Really cool information, guys. So please watch this video till the end. Now let's quickly jump into the first chart. Bam. Yes, I'm going to keep it short. I'm not going to stress about the minute charts and the four hour charts and the one hour charts. The one day chart is looking like that. We need to find support in the yellow line, 38,600 US dollar. That is an important level to hold. If we don't hold that, we can fall all the way back to that 29K level. I think that is completely clear. Now, um, if we look at the five day channel, so we zoom a little bit out, we have been looking at the Gaussian channel for a long time now. In this Gaussian channel, I switched the candles to the normal candles. So there's a difference between these candles or the Heikin Ashin. The Heikin Ashin are still keeping support. But if you switch to the normal candles, I just want to show you something. That is that the candle now has gone down below the Gaussian channel. That hasn't happened many times before in history. It happened here. That was at COVID crash. That was the best moment ever to buy your Bitcoins. It happened before over here. This was the 2018 bear market all the way till 2019, a year. That was the best moment to buy your Bitcoins. <clears throat> if we go even further back to here, this was the best moment to buy your Bitcoins. Again, this was the 2014 bear market. So every time that we crashed down below that line, here also in 2011, it was the best moment to buy your Bitcoins. So please watch it again. Every time you can see it, down below there, it was the best moment to buy your Bitcoins. Now, this candle is peaking down below that Gaussian channel on the 5 day. This again will be the best moment to buy your Bitcoins. If I talk to you about dollar cost averaging, it means buying every time that Bitcoin dips. And if Bitcoin dips below these levels, it is a very good moment again to buy your Bitcoins. Don't stress about those four and the one hour charts just if you like to trade. But if you don't trade daily, then buy Bitcoin every time when we come down below these moments because this has been proven in history. I'm going to zoom out completely to show you. But in history, they have been proven to be the best moments to buy your Bitcoins. No other moments were that good. Now, um, guys, if you want to trade all of this, then go down below the video and click these links. Bybit will give you $4,100 bonus to, buy, uh, to trade plus a 30% discount on uh, trading fees. OKX gives you up to $5,000 bonus. Femex, all of these give you bonuses. If you sign up and you deposit Bitcoins, you get these extra bonuses to trade Bitcoin. Now, let's zoom out a little bit more to the weekly chart. On the weekly chart, Bam Bam indicator told you to long. And since that moment, we have been going up. These candles I talked to you about, um, I didn't like this candle with a long wick, but it's a green candle. And this new candle is going um, higher than the previous candle. So this is positive, guys. So for me, this yellow line there, the 42,700 line, it's the stepping line in the BAM. That is the one that we need to break to become positive again on the weekly, even more positive. That's how I need to say it. In the monthly, talked about it many times this week, we have three lines to watch out for the 12 monthly moving average, the 21 and the 200 weekly moving average. We are now moving in between the 12 and the 21. These are proven to be good moments to buy Bitcoin because if we break that orange line, we will go up very fast to the midline again and that will be a huge jump all the way up to 70k. Jump. I didn't say dump. Jump. If you break the blue one, it becomes even more interesting because we could retest that 200 weekly moving average. If we look back in history, we have tested that level and that would be the ultimate buy opportunity for you to buy Bitcoin above 20k like 20 to 30k but i don't believe this i don't believe that we will go below 30k at the moment we first need to break the blue line the 21 moving average and that is at 37 now if you break that 
then I can see we go to the bottom of the logarithmic growth curve, which is around 30k, and we can peak down below it, in my opinion, but in my opinion, we will not fall to the 200 weekly moving average yet. If we do fall below that logarithmic growth curve, we haven't seen that before many times. We have seen a wick over there, and we have seen a wick over here. Uh, we didn't see many times below that logarithmic growth curve, but if we do, then we could fall down below to the 200 weekly moving average. The longer we stay above these blue lines and maybe above the orange line, the higher the 200 weekly moving will come. And at a certain moment, the 200 weekly moving average will probably be as high as that logarithmic growth curve bottom. The interesting charts are these. On this chart, you see how many Bitcoins are on the exchanges. And as you can see, the amount of Bitcoins on all the exchanges is trending down. It's going down already from 2020 less and less and less bitcoins are held on exchanges that means more and more bitcoins are held in cold storage for example the bitcoins that are on exchanges we call them liquid supply the bitcoins that are off exchanges we call them illiquid supply and if we now go into these two charts over here bam we can see what is happening at the moment to bitcoin and that is very important to understand if you look at this chart, what do you see? You see this blue area, this is the illiquid supply. These are the Bitcoins that are not on the exchanges. The yellow area on the top, these are the liquid supply. This means these are the Bitcoins that are on the exchanges. The thing that I want to share with you now is that you can see what is happening on this chart. More and more Bitcoins are becoming illiquid. And that means that there is less offer of bitcoins and the demand is at the moment growing that's what we see now is that this is happening and this chart tells you everything you can see at the moment an average after the halving 902 bitcoins per day are mined and added to the supply in total at the moment an average 1690 bitcoins are becoming illiquid so more bitcoins are becoming illiquid then there are created. Yes, on average, 900 Bitcoins are being created and added to the market, but 1,600 are becoming illiquid. So there is this illiquid supply is increasing tremendously, which means that there are less Bitcoins available to sell. And we can see that all over the world, because of everything what is happening, the demand is growing. So this can only drive the prices way more up. If you zoom out, after the next halving, halving four, only 450 Bitcoins per day will be mined and added to the market. And if the illiquid supply is increasing even more uh, around that halving four, just imagine what will happen to that price. More and more Bitcoins are put in long time storage, less new Bitcoins are coming to the new market. What will this do with the price? And that's why I'm not freaking out about every minute change in the charts. I need to zoom out and I need to educate you on zooming out as well. Just buy these moments that are perfect for buying if you look at the history of Bitcoin. We are now nearing one of these moments. And if you buy around 30k or 20k or 25k, what the fuck will that matter if in the end Bitcoin will be 100k, 200k or 300k in 2024 or 2030? This will increase your capital instead of decreasing your capital. Keep it in fiat. And the inflation of 7% or some part of the world 20% a year will decrease your capital. 10, time, 10 years times 7% is 70%. If you have 100k now, in 10 years time, it will be only worth 30k. If you keep it in Bitcoin, every four years it will increase. That's the simple calculation that you can make and should make. Now, that was everything for today. I hope you really enjoyed all the information. If you did enjoy the information, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, or hit the notification bell, and leave a comment uh, before that you exit now. Thanks for watching the video, and hopefully see you tomorrow again. Bam!